remember what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Before I go in, real quick, if you have not done so already, after you subscribe, there's a little bell next to your subscribe button. Go ahead and click that thing right now so you can get your notifications each time I drop a new video like this. That way you'll be among the first in the loop. Make sure you select all notifications, otherwise you may not get any from me. Also, smash up the likes, smash up the likes, smash up the likes. When you see those suggested videos to your right side of your phone or your computer or your laptop, that's YouTube's algorithm at work. It's putting it in their face based on people's taste. Oh, that was kind of dope, huh? Can't start rhyming. Rapper for life. All right, family, let's go in. Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey has dropped his two cents into the Gail King, Lisa Leslie, Kobe Bryant saga box. Steve made a number of points in a statement on his radio show. And I uh, took the liberty of writing down a couple of takeaways. Well, actually a few takeaways. In regards to Gail King getting dragged for the Lisa Leslie interview, Steve said, I just don't like to see women get beat up like this because I feel like we're taking advantage of the situation. Insinuating that this is somehow a man versus woman issue. It's not. The criticism was bipartisan. There was just as many women dragging her as there were men. So let's kill that noise. Furthermore, Steve acts like he has this huge heart for women. Where was this huge heart when he was making the mother of his child homeless? Moving on, Snoop had a lot to sell by Gail King, but Steve Harvey could only find one thing to agree with him on. He said, one thing Snoop said that I agree with is we are the worst toward each other and we take social media as an opportunity to berate and bring down each other so fast. Nah, no we don't. No we don't. We take social media as an opportunity to berate and bring down sellouts, clowns, oh yeah, and it is very effective. See, you don't like that you're one of the gatekeepers with the huge platform, and until social media, the little guy really didn't have a voice. Now... Y'all getting checked at every turn. And that's what you don't like about social media. Next up, Steve says that we have been hated on and separated so much that we are experts at hating and separating ourselves at times. No, we're not. Be specific. Stop generalizing. See, that's what got us in the place that we are right now. Generalizations. Stop it. Yes, there are some black people that hate just to be hated, just like you have them in every damn race. Yes, you have people that separated. Yes, separated every race. There are races out there, people, who don't even speak. It's normal for them to not have relationships with their own parents, their own children. So stop trying to use this whole little slavery thing as a scapegoat. Stop bringing it up, trying to act like this every time somebody black checks somebody that has got something to do with slavery. Now, some black people are just sellouts. Some black people are just fuck-ups. And some black people just call a spade a spade, irregardless of what your skin tone is. Next, he said, we got to make sure we don't take her out the same way she was taking Kobe out. 
Huh? That's the problem with black folks. Too damn friendly. Too forgiving. No, you're going to take Kobe out. We're going to take you out. Ain't no if, ands, or buts about it. We're not hugging the killer of our brother. We got to get off of that type of mentality. You see, the reason why people like Steve and Gail and Oprah and Stephen A and Barkley and Candace Owens and on and on and on and on and on, all of them, the reason why they don't try that shit with white folks. They don't call out white folks BS. They don't make these generalizations, these negative generalizations about white people. It's because they know that if they do, the gig is up. It's over. No more bad. So they have an incentive to show respect to white folks. And not just white folks. Other groups also. They'll never make disparaging comments about homosexuals. If they do, Alphabet's going to be on their ass. Steve won't make a joke about the Holocaust, but somehow he finds jokes about slavery funny. Let me close this thing out. The dude said the popular thing to do is to get on the bandwagon and talk about how wrong she was. No. The popular thing to do is to get on cold. What you have to understand is an enemy is an enemy. It don't matter what they look like. It don't matter their skin tone, their gender, their religious beliefs. An enemy is an enemy. And all enemies get what they get. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?